Now, let's look at how to use a computer to go through all the procedures running a PHP file in Apache. First, uh, let's look at how to install Exam. So in a web browser, uh, you can search for exam. Go to the Apache Friends, so you find appropriate version to download for your computer. So here I do not need to go through all the details. I think you can do it easily. So we go to the next step. Make sure that Apache is running on your desktop, you know, in, in, in your computer. Uh, look at the icon. That's the exam control panel. Uh, after you install the exam, it should be on your desktop. All right, so here, let's bring it up. Okay, so that's the icon. Okay. But I already started, so it's here. Okay. Now check Apache. You see, it is running. If it's not running, you can click the start button to start it. Okay. Similarly, my SQL database server is also running. Okay. Yeah. For the first time, uh, before you click, uh, you need to start it. Okay. After you start it, then, you know, it will always running automatically, okay? All right, so we finish second, third step. Then, next step, create a database. First, we need to get uh, two files for this example. So you can download it from my gateway, the university.zip file, so you can find the two files. Okay. All right. Uh, here I changed the original index name to index one. The reason is when I place it in Apache, I do not want to overwrite the original index.php file, so that's why I rename it. Okay, so I use the index1.php. All right, so now we need to run this university.sql file, SQL file, SQL script. Okay, yeah. So we need to open it. Uh, so here I already opened it in my Notepad plus plus. Okay, so I open the, you know, the script so I can copy and paste later. Now I go to, you know, PHP my admin because we use the PHP my admin to manage uh, my SQL databases. Okay. So let's go to the local host. Localhost. All right. So when you see this, try to find the PHP my admin link. You click it. Now you are there. PHP my admin. Okay. Yeah. Because here I already have the university installed before, so I may like to drop it. Then I create it again to show you the whole procedure. Okay. All right. First. We need to create a database. So the type university name for the database. Create button. So you get the database created. It's empty. So you click the SQL tab to run the script. Let's copy paste the whole 
Control A, select everything. Control C, copy it. And here, Control V, paste it. Okay. Click the button Go. Now all the tables are created. It's ready to use. Okay. Go to the next step. Access the PHP file through Apache. Okay. First, we need to place the PHP file in the right place. All right, so let's take a look. So here. Now, first, let me go through where to find the location. After you install the exam, you will see an exam default folder inside your C drive. Okay, so that's the default location. Suppose you do not change it. So next, you get into this folder. Then you will see there is a htdocs folder. Okay? This folder is used to hold all the web files that can be run in Apache server. Okay? So we get into it. Now we need to place our source file here. Okay? So this is, you know, index1.php. I already copied it. Okay? All right. So one thing I want to emphasize here is, so this is index1.php, okay? If you rename it as index1, you need to also change inside the code, the link, make index1 here, the same file name as the current file. Yeah. Otherwise, the link will not point to the right place. Okay? So make sure you change it inside your code if you if you rename it. Okay. All right. Now we are ready to run the example. Okay. So everything is in place. Local host. Because you do not need to type uh, HTTP, okay. so, but here I need to, you know, get to my file name index, so, you know, index one dot PHP. Enter. Now you see, you know, it's, you know, it works. You can click links to view other tables. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole procedure to run a PHP file inside the Apache server.